welcome Gemini this is your mid-month tarot forecast for April 2024 it is a general reading so it's trust yourself what resonates leave what does not big welcome to those that are new to my channel those that follow me regularly and if you do enjoy my readings make sure to subscribe to my channel hit that like button show the love and the notification bell so you get notified when your next star sign reading is out on my channel uh, and I will just mention that the star sign video that gets the highest numbers of views and likes this month will get a bonus reading at the end of the month. All right, so let's dive in. We're pulling you an opening energy from the beautiful Heart and Soul Oracle. And let's see what you need to know, Gemini. This one here wants to come out. Ooh, it's, an, it's an angel, but she's kind of very reflective. It says, do not give in to fear and doubt. Courage is called for now. Face your fear. Look at things objectively. You are safe and all is well. Fill your fear with love. Beyond fear, love is guiding you, urging you to break free. You will succeed. And, you know, sometimes we can worry unnecessarily. We can project fears into the future of things that will never happen. Uh, it's going to be super interesting so it comes out in your reading. Now, we are going to be doing predictions, past, present and future with the uh, beautiful angel wisdom tarot first up let's have a look at the situation okay you pull the awakening which is looking at things from a different perspective changing your view on things often when we get this card we're looking at a very narrow view we're not seeing all sides of a certain situation or there's something that we need to shift within self to see things in a more positive light let's have a look at the challenge Okay, so the challenge is the Seven of Cups. So there's a major decision to make. Possibly procrastinating on it. Any guidance on that? Okay, some of you are focusing on the negative. You've got the Four of Cups. You're focusing on things that haven't worked out. There's an angel behind you, which is Archangel Shamiel, Shamion, um, offering you a cup that you can't see. Because when we focus on the negative, that's where we're putting our energy, yeah? Let's have a look at the basis of the situation. Okay, you've got the page of air. So Spirit's saying your ideas need refinement. So if it's something you're trying to work on or bring into form, you still need to keep tweaking it. All right, let's have a look at the recent past. Okay, in the recent past, you've got the four of fire, which is a celebration, peace, prosperity, sense of stability security there's a couple with a beautiful home in the background um, contentment in your personal life all right let's have a look at the present moment okay you've got the high priestess energy so guy or girl you're getting into your high states of consciousness your connection to your angels your spirit guides doing your spiritual practices we well, need to <laughs> let's have a look at anything else that you need guidance on there there's two coming out Okay. I'm going to read these around the other way. You've got the five of it. So some of you are worrying about your finances, experiencing financial difficulties, worrying about not having enough money, and yet there's an angel over behind her holding her head. There's an old lady that's kind of bent forward, steeped in worry. You've got Archangel Sandalfin watching over you, and he's surrounded by coins. It's come out with the nine of cups, so nine of water. All your wishes coming true. So all your cups being filled. So there's certainly some unnecessary worry and anxiety going on, which is an internal state of being that we need to shift. How do we do that? Uh, we do it with our mindfulness practices. We do pattern interrupts. We pull ourselves up whenever we're getting into negative thought patterns, yeah? Because particularly when it comes to money, we can have that on speed dial constantly over and over and over during the day. We can do a pattern pattern interrupt with affirmations. Now, if you struggle to think of affirmations, I have partnered with InnerTune app. It's a free app you can download on your mobile phone. It instantly creates playlists of affirmations for you based on the areas of your life you want to work on. I would suggest for you would be around your manifestation practices, also around boosting yourself up, boosting your moods. Uh, you can set the tone of the voice that speaks to you, the music behind it. You can play it for a minute. I mean, it's just so uplifting. Or five minutes, you can set a reminder on your phone to send you a notification to remind you to listen to your affirmations. Or whenever you're feeling a little bit low, just tap that app, right? And listen to your affirmations for a minute. Yeah, it's super easy. Um, there is a paid version which you just get more access to a lot more affirmations and more listening time. 
uh, but you can certainly download it for free. So I use it. I love it. Uh, I'll pop the link on here and down below if you want to go and check it out and download it to your phone, yeah? All right, let's have a look at the near future. Hmm. In the near future, you got the key fire. Feeling really confident. Uh, you know, very stable. Some of you wanting to step into the public spotlight. So there may be some fear-based thoughts around that, sharing a message with the world, uh, public speaking, being in the public eye in some way, or just wanting to feel more confident and more visible in the world. All right, let, whether you're a guy or a girl, let's have a look at your energy, Gemini. This is trying to come out. Okay, you got the five of five. So possible conflict with the others going on. Figuring out who, where you need to stand up for yourself and where it's just seriously not worth the drama just to walk away from it. Any other guidance there? Okay, you got the king of air. So you may be feeling emotionally unavailable if you're dealing with people who are fractious in your life and you're like, I just really can't be bothered. I wish they'd leave me alone. Or you may be dealing, you may be having a conflict with someone who's emotionally unavailable. Yeah, you can read that both ways. All right, let's have a look at the energy of those around you. Okay, got the nine of air, sleepless nights going on. So you may be you may be connected to a partner or someone who's going through a lot of stress and anxiety right now, or people around you may be putting you into a state of sleepless nights, darling. <laughs> yes, oh my God, you've got the seven of fire, feeling like you need to defend yourself from people. Mm -hmm protect yourself all right let's have a look at your hopes and fears so there's a lot of energies that are upsetting your energy gemini and yeah, a lot of fire energy coming out you got the eight of fire things being really busy rushing in towards you maybe feeling like it's a bit overwhelming wow you got the second message here one of you that your ideas need refinement so you need to keep tweaking them darlings mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever you're working on. Let's have a look at the outcome. Well, the outcome is the page of fire. I mean, fire energy all over your reading. There's an amazing opportunity coming your way. So you are going to have a breakthrough when it comes to what you're trying to do and work on. There may be something else coming in. If you're trying to launch something or you've got a creative idea and it's really not ready to be put out there and you still need to work on it, you may get kind of like a breathing space with a new opportunity that comes in that you could be doing as well, yeah, that's going to help you. Or it could it could align with what you are doing. That's the other way of looking at it. Let's pull you some clarifiers from you, Starrow. Let's have a look at the centre here where Spirit's saying you need to look at things in a different way. There's a decision to make and you're focusing on the negative. Mm, time for a brand new fresh start. So whatever choice you need to make, it's about going for the new versus what has been. Let's have a look at your ideas needing refinement. All right, got two here. Okay. There is the opportunity to collaborate with others on these ideas, yeah? partnerships and you've got the magician so it's up to you it can represent the right people resources opportunities coming your way it's about you getting really clear about what you want to do where do you want to put your time and your energy let's have a look at the present where there's some worry going on around your finances and spirit saying you need to be in your high states of consciousness because all your wishes are going to come true mm, there is going to be this beautiful sense of celebration the town of emotions directly related to your wishes coming true. Now, this could be in the spirit realm. It could be within family. Let's have a look at the near future where spirit's saying it's going to be in this or need to be in this very confident energy. Yeah, you just got to rely on your strength. Keep moving forward, Gemini. Let's have a look at these energies trying to upset yours. <laughs> Either you feeling emotionally unavailable or dealing with someone who's emotionally unavailable. Right. You got the muse of voices, right? Which relates to you, you acting in accordance with your own values and integrity, speaking your truth in terms of dealing with it, whatever this energy is. 
Let's have a look at the sleep, sleepless nights and you feel like you need to protect yourself. Oh, you've got the Empress. This is beautiful. Spirit's saying whenever that comes up, whenever that energy comes up, you focus on your ideas and putting your seeds of creation out to the universe. Any other guidance there? Yeah, they're saying just keep charging forward. Don't allow other people's energy to affect yours. You just keep working on what you're working on. And you've got the ace of voices. So seeing the truth in situations. Um, you know, sometimes we can't change how somebody else shows up in our world. We can only focus on our own energy and our own actions. All right, let's have a look at your hopes and fears position where things are going to get really busy. And again, Spirit's saying you need to refine your ideas. And you've got the muse of emotions, king mid deck. They come into this beautiful watery balanced state. You feel so much better when you're emotionally imbalanced, darlings. Yes. <laughs> Let's have a look at the outcome where you've got this amazing opportunity coming in to help you. Mm, wow. You got the page of emotions. So again, it's really about you focusing your energy, what's important to you in your heart space and directly related to your creativity and your inner child. It's going to be aligned with your creativity, this whatever's coming in, and your passions. It's going to be something that you don't see coming, right? It's just going to literally be drawn towards you. All right, let's pull some guidance from the Nature's Whispers Oracle. Oh, you got a message to open your heart up to love, to not close it off. That's super interesting. I mean, you are feeling very protective of self. When it comes to any fears current coming up around money, right? you just do your gratefulness practices. Just remind yourself, what am I grateful for today? Might be the roof over your head, the stability around you, simple things that make you grateful and appreciative. All right, let's have a look at this energy that's trying to upset yours. The spirit's saying, speak your truth. Oh, you've got to take a fresh approach with them, whoever it is. The fresh approach that spirit's saying is you've got to speak up in, in accordance with your own values, right, and just be very direct with them. Because when you do, you're going to have a breakthrough with this person. Mm -hmm. You've also brought contemplation. Now, this is in relation to sleepless nights. You feeling like you need to protect yourself and focusing on your creative ideas. So whatever you're contemplating right now, she's like covered in butterflies. You've got massive butterflies sitting on the head. It's also related to your strength and empowerment because you've got two lions there. So creating a beautiful vision for your life. Mm -hmm. Working towards that vision. Any other guidance? It's a time of expansion for you and growth. Some of you, there's travel on the cards. Mm -hmm. All right, let's pull your message from your angels. Oh, here we go. It's exactly what I just said. It's all about your vision. It says a positive outcome requires a positive vision. Visualize everyone involved in your present situation surrounded by light and love. Make sure to include yourself also. Your love has the power to influence and transform the current events. So you have the power to change things depending on what approach you take, right? Mm -hmm. All right, let's put your crowning energy from the beautiful Pegasus Oracle. Gorgeous deck by Lana Fairchild. Now, if you're feeling like you need extra guidance and support at this time with a personal reading, I have partnered with Spiritual Blossom. They're a an amazing team of really experienced psychics and clairvoyants. So if you do want a personal reading, go and check them out. I'll put their link on here and down below. What is it Gemini needs to know? Really thinking about it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, this has got a beautiful message. You've pulled the Pegasus of Roses. Have a look at that. It's so gorgeous. Beautiful um, Pegasus with the white wings surrounded by so many different roses. That's rose bushes. Let's pull you up the guidance. Oh, open straight up to it. Super important message. You ready, Gemini? It says, 
Beloved Pegasus brings a special blessing of divine feminine for your heart. You're empowered to make it through a time of challenge, especially in matters of the heart. The thorns of the divine rose symbolize the ability to deflect unwanted interference. So your blossoming success is assured. Have faith that your divine heart shall attain the fullness of beauty, healing and sacred expression. Pegasus of Roses brings a sign that beauty and truth will emerge from your suffering, bringing you closer to fulfillment. When you care enough, when you are courageous enough, you will acknowledge your suffering and be willing to go through it for a higher purpose. This marks you as one of the Divine Mother's own. She will be with you, assisting you always, so you are not locked into pain, but able to grow through and rise above it. And all you need to move through this time shall be granted. Do not fear the challenge. You will attain a newfound sense of personal power, confidence and spiritual maturity. You will feel more connected to the Divine Feminine, leaving behind distrust and the overthinking that unnecessarily creates doubt and distress. Open your heart to the spiritual rose of the Sacred Feminine now. Allow your soul to breathe in its Divine Healing perfume. Oh, it's well. So it, you know, kind of totally aligns with the energies coming out in your reading, which are challenging. However, there is so much here to say everything's going to turn around for you. And in the future position, it's trying to get to you this place of confidence and strength. Yeah. All right, my loves, those are your messages. Love to hear your feedback, your comments down below on how this reading resonated for you. Take it easy. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste. Mm -hmm.